Hey guys, CarGuru here. I have a really cool tutorial to show you guys today. I recently had a subscriber reach out to me. Let's call him Robert because he wants to remain anonymous. He reached out to me and said, hey CarGuru, I need help. I need to install additional seating in my Tesla Model S and the service center and local to me will not do it for me. Can you help me? I said, absolutely. He drove down all the way seven hours from where he lives to my home. Let's see how CarGuru helped him out. Join us on this magical journey. What do we have here today? All right, there's some body damage here. All right, we could, we could take a look at that, see if there's any structural damage, I don't think so. Uh, but the mission today is to install rear-facing seats in this, uh, in this Model S. It's not in uh, too bad a shape, actually. You know, obviously minus this, but... Yeah, let's get this thing into the shop, and I shop, and, uh, and take a look at it. Here's Dolores right here, look at Dolores. See, look, maybe one day this car will look as good as this one. Who knows, huh? What do you guys think, maybe? I don't know, who knows? I hope I don't crash this thing. All right, she's in the shop. Again, the shop. And she barely fits because I did not clean my dirty ass garage. All right, this person clearly uh, had totally forgot that we were installing rear facing seats because a bunch of junk back here. So I have to somehow dig through this mess before I install those seats, but that's okay. Uh, I have enough room to work in the back because I have to install the, um, the rear reinforcement as well. So we're gonna pop this rear bumper off, at least most of it off to get the reinforcement going. This is the reinforcement bar right here. Looks pretty sturdy. Yeah, so let's get that thing going. Let's check this car out one more time. Again, this is the 240th Tesla that has this issue right here. I have yet to see a Tesla that has those things lined up. Uh, let's see, Maeve didn't, Dolores doesn't. Does it have it on this side? Yes, same thing on this side. If you have a Tesla, go out there and check this right now. I bet you it doesn't line up. Let's see. The car only has 6% battery left. Thank you very much, kind stranger, for kind of screwing me on that one. So now I have to provide electricity for this vehicle as well. Let's get this show on the road. Enough yapping. All right, back to this. So his car is charging now. It probably has about who knows how much percent left. I've got to put the splitter in here because I need light as well. But below this, I'll talk about that later. I have all the tools. Supposedly... This person, we're not gonna say this person's name, there's just his feet. These are all the parts that we need to install this, but the good thing is he came to the right place because in case he's missing something, I can probably take parts off the spare cars that I have. So let's get this swapped over, let's stop this charging real quick, and then let's get this off. This is the world's messiest of garage, but this is where stuff gets done, all right? Magic happens here. Where the heck's the damn light up? There we go. Let's get this show on the road. Look at this, look how janky this is. That's called jank. All right, the seats are going here. The back of this car is very, very messy. I don't know if they have uh, bales of hay back here or whatever, but I'm gonna get rid of that. I gotta peel this up. Uh, there's some retaining clips in here. Oh, that one just fell out. Typical Tesla quality. So I have the clips here, this side and that side. I'm gonna pop those out. And then uh, as I pull this out, I'm gonna actually expose a lot of the area that the, uh, the rear seat has to bolt into. All right. Awesome, let's see. Let's expose those mounting points. So in here, there's a little audio perforated area to install them. And that's the hole right there on that side. Things looking pretty good so far. Just to get access to this area right back here. All right, so we have the parts here. So we have the, uh, the side strikers over here, left and right. And we have those bolts that go here. I'll show you how to install those. These are the eyelets that go in here. These slide behind where that circle is, and then these screw in this right here. There's already Loctite applied from the factory, so those don't get uh, undone. Sorry for my ashy hands, it's cold outside. All right, and this is the clicker to actually open up the rear hatch. There should be another um, a component of his wiring harness that I could just plug this into and have that work. And then these right here, you actually have to do a little cutting 
on the back of the uh, the seat itself for the razor blade to put these in so it looks nice and sexy there. All right, so we're at the back panel. If you peel this back, and by the way, this is the uh, the passenger side uh, rear of the car where uh, the charge cables are. They already pre-cut the hole to uh, to put these side latches in. So let's peel this off a little bit. Look at that, comes right out, awesome. And everything's already there to mount. Now, there's already a hole here, so it should just pop right through. Look at that, ah, 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 see? Ah, uh ah. -huh. My friend Silent Bob doesn't want to say anything. He doesn't like his voice on camera, but trust me, he's laughing his ass off right now because I'm very funny. <laughs> this one's even easier. Ah, uh, look at that. Ugh. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna focus on the rear bumper uh, reinforcement. In order to do that, you need, uh, actually, hold on, stay right there. Aha! Ah, ah, see, this is what you need. So you need a trim removal tool. I've probably broken all of his tabs. It's okay, because I have more tabs in the basement. Now there's a hole in here, either a deep 10 or a deep 8, but once you unscrew those, that'll actually loosen the rear bumper. There's one on each side, one on this side, one on the opposite side over here. Once you do those, that'll actually loosen the rear bumper, and then after that, we have to go into the wheel wells on each side, and there's another screw right here. Once you pull back that trim, that we have to get access to, to uh, remove the rest of the bumper. All right, so now, these jacking pucks, courtesy of EV Tuning Solutions, let's see how well these things work, right? So if you get under here, you put the jacking puck right there, and it's magnetic. How easy is that? Look at that. You put your jack right here, you start jacking the car up, and it makes working on a Tesla 10 times easier. Now, the reason why I'm jacking the car up is because I want to get a good angle on the other side here. I want to get a good angle to remove these, uh, this, uh, this bolt right here. And that hole, I have to remove that right here. And it's right at the front of the seam. So once I undo that, I could literally start peeling the rear bumper off. I have to do this on this side and on the other side as well. And yes, you can do it leaving the wheel on. So now I'm going to start peeling this bumper right off. You ready? So. What the hell? What am I do? What does that mean? What does orange mean? Oh, charge cable and latch. <laughs> thing right off, right? Ready? You ready? Look at that. Comes right off. I make a joke out of everything. I, that's what I like doing too. Yeah. I think that's another reason why people... You can hold this too if you want. Yeah. I need to... Mm -hmm. See though, it's like if I want, I want to grow like the next guy, but it's like I have I have meetings and shit. <laughs> I have like a job, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, here comes goes nothing. Ready? Perfect. Oh, 
the harbor's already there. What? What? Man, today's your lucky day. Name What's in there? Huh? What's there? The uh, hardware. Oh, the hardware. Yeah, yeah, the bolts. Yeah. Put this in. I thought you meant like the... Oh, the, the reinforcement? Yeah, I was like, I'll see it, dude. Look, your <laughs> there. My wife's like, who's this guy coming over? I was like, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> shut up! Are you just recording? Yeah. Even better. No, keep, keep it going, keep it going. All right. Yeah, I got a lot of heat for that last video with the whole vagina thing. Yeah. <laughs> People were like, I, I watch this video with my kids. Really? Like, yeah, keep this. Why don't you keep the smut to like the smut channel? I'm like, dude, shut up. Are you serious? Yeah, he got really mad. Like, why are you so rude to your subscribers? He's like, shut up. <laughs> Oops. This step wasn't even necessary. I just wanted to cut the back of his car pretty much. This is an NVH cover for uh, noise, vibration, and harshness for the rear motor. The rear motor pretty much sits under this panel right here, and this is like a vibration cover for it so it doesn't shake the whole car apart. But let's get to these uh, eyelets right here. So these are some key pieces that you need because these have to slide in right here, and then they go in the back here. So if these were to fall down in there right now, this would be a really bad day for me. Well, not well, for him, not me. I wouldn't care, really. But uh, these have to slide in the back. And then these bolts right here uh, hold them right in. I also have to cut these. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Tesla strikes again. The perforation's already... This is... This fucking Tesla's killing me. They're killing the game today. Look at that. So these are already here. Uh, your results may vary. I'm not sure if your carpets are going to have these or not. So just keep that in mind when going into this, that you may have to do some cutting. So let's go ahead and cut this right here. There you go. Again, sorry for the ashy fingers. I have dark skin and it's 20 degrees outside. All right, let's get that seat in. These are brand new, damn. I wanna swap mine out for those. Oh, there you go. So. So, I didn't think you were gonna be this long. Yeah, sorry. And. You, are you hungry? No, I'm making dinner now, but I need milk. And you were supposed to go to the grocery store. Okay. Uh, do you want to go like now? Actually, we're almost done. Okay. What time do we close? Well, um, I need it in like a half an hour. Half an hour? Is that fine? Yeah, it should be fine. Okay. That should okay. be fine. We could, we could run out and get something. Okay. Are you, are you, so dinner's already like made? Well, I'm cooking just chicken fingers and mac and cheese and like vegetable or whatever. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Sorry, man. About what? Sorry about what? What are you sorry about? I'm saying I'm uh, taking a lot of your time. Who gives a shit? I like doing this stuff. Anytime I can, this is an insider secret. Yeah. As much time as I could spend away from my family as possible. <laughs> <laughs> and she like busted, you motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. So I mean, that's the whole point. I mean, really, is I think about it. It's really kind of like, oh yeah, I'm in the basement <laughs> doing stuff. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. All right, get low in there. Let's see. So now we're gonna tighten this up. Oh, could have pulled the seat forward to see it. All right, let's get on the other side. Oh, whew. the mission is is to get. Once, if you look back here, once these seats fold up, they're supposed to latch onto those latches. 
Let's see if they do just that. It looks like it's going to. Oh yeah, it latches just fine. It's latching just fine there as well. So these seats are in right. He does not currently have the plastic trim piece that goes here. And this plastic trim piece is what, uh, what connects the back of the seat, the back of the third row seat um, to the second row. So we're actually gonna force that right now. I'm actually gonna manually cut that piece and, um, and kind of hope for the best. All right, wish me luck. So, no going back now. This is perfect to do because it's not my car. Are you hungry? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm st are you serious? Yeah, yeah, go, you go, go ahead and have dinner with your family and... God damn, dude. I'm good, man. Go ahead. Well, no, I mean, like, like I'm surprised you're not hungry. You've been here for a while. I'm... Just... <laughs> I'm alright. I'm, have... hungry. I'm hungry just looking at you. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm hungry as hell. Are you vegetarian or something? No, no. I just don't eat pork. That's the only thing I don't eat. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, and I'm lactose intolerant. Cause... Jesus Christ. Yeah. Dude, what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> Oh my gosh, man. It's like, yeah, I don't pork. And, that, and yeah, and, I, and I'm vegan. And yeah, I don't, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's trying to add up now. Minus these eight main things that I don't eat, I'm, all right. I'm, I'm pretty I'm, open. I'm, I'm good. I'm pretty good. <laughs> oh, man. There was no tab in that one. There was no retaining clip. Maybe later on, if you want, you could put a new one in there. Okay. Wait. These are the same ones. For real? Yeah. There's supposed to be a top one that looks a little bit different. It looks like they gave you two bottoms. Hmm. You see how the nose yeah. of this one's a little bit longer? You can put the camera. Okay. You see how like, the, the nose of this one's a little bit longer than this one's a little bit shorter? Yeah. Like, these don't even really join if we would do it like that like it should look like that right right but it doesn't you know what i mean so yeah. i think i think these are two bottoms honestly okay so i mean it'll, it'll still work you just have to get a different trim piece that's all okay and you know how to do it you just yeah yeah, yeah you just do that and you just punch it in so i'll do the bottom one for now and then okay. you know whatever all right ready to watch the madness unfold let's do it Cool. That's it. That's it. That's it. So these are latched on the sides. This looks good here. Awesome. Now you got your third row. Awesome, man. These are lined right. Both facing up. Now, the other test is, let's make sure it folds down to the floor properly. Okay. Folds there. Folds there. That's it. Oh, so you don't have the piece that goes here? Uh, I guess not. All right. Do you want one? I think I have one. I want to give my buddy here something. Uh, he couldn't make it to TeslaCon because, it, let's be real, the tickets were $250. So I got him an official TeslaCon 2017 t-shirt. Anyone that comes to Car Guru's house gets a gift. Uh, I am far too muscular to wear this shirt, so I figured I'd give it to the less fortunate. <laughs> well, thank but you hey, so much. Dude, take it easy, man. Yeah, you have a good awesome. one. Thank you so Drive much. Drive safe, and well, I hope the car treats you well and gives you thank several you. several happy miles and smiles. Yeah, my kids will, will love the, the seats. And, good. And we're all safe now. Thank you so much. All right, you take it easy, buddy. All right.